Any three points define a plane, so we don't need to prove that cyclopropane is a planar molecule. The carbon-carbon bond of cyclopropane is 1.51 angstrom, that is shorter than the normal carbon-carbon bond. Also, the CH2 bond angle is 115 degree, which is greater than the CH2 bond angle in propane. The strain energy in cyclopropane is 27.5 kcal per mole. Although deviation from ideal tetrahedral bond angle is the most important reason of that, eclipsing CH interactions across carbon-carbon bonds as a result of planarity has a significant contribution. The iconic characteristic feature of cyclopropene skeleton is its bent bonds. The carbon-carbon bonds must be bent to accommodate the 60 degree bond angle of cyclopropene. As a result, carbon-carbon bonds have more pi character. Based on Colson theorem, bond angle can be related to the hybridization by this simple equation, in which I is defined as hybridization index. Then we define the hybridization as SPI. The CHC bond angle in cyclopropene is 115 degree. According to the equation, hybridization index corresponding to this bond angle is 2.46. As a result, the hybridization of CH bond in cyclopropene is SP2.46 which indicates contribution of extra S character in this bond, comparing to a normal sp 3 Same calculation for 60 degree bond angle indicates sp 374 hybridization for carbon-carbon bonds. So these bonds have more P character. Orbitals in a normal sigma bond have head-to-head -head interaction, in which occurs maximum overlap. As a result, sigma bond remains unreactive due to high bond strength. In cyclopropane, because of 60 degree bond angle, hybrid orbitals are forced to be bent. This unusual structure leads to a relative weaker interaction. Consequently, cyclopropene is a small ring with double bond character. There are no fundamental difference between an olefin and cyclopropene, except that double bond is more reactive. Taking into account this similarity, cyclopropene is considered as functional carbon group. Like a double bond, cyclopropene contributes to many reactions. For instance, it can react with bromine and hydrogen bromide. Also, it can undergo catalytic hydrogenation to produce propane. Usually, we don't expect this reactivity for a saturated system. One of the interesting features of the double bond is the ability to conjugate with other groups, leading to a stability of the molecule. For example, the MTP orbital of allylic carbocation interacts with adjacent double bond. Because of this conjugation effect, allylic carbocation is stable. If you want to know more about the stability concept, check this video. Now let's install a carbocation group on the cyclopropene skeleton and investigate the stability of the cyclopropyl methyl carbocation. Although cyclopropene can exhibit conjugation effect, it strongly depends on the conformation of the molecule. Before investigating the different conformation of cyclopropene, we should understand the orbital interactions. Generally, there are two models to describe bonding in cyclopropene. The first one is Carlson motif model, which nicely indicates the bent bond with six electrons. The second one is Walsh model. We know that cyclopropene consists of three CH2 groups. Walsh model suggests that three sp2 orbitals of CH2 groups form the first bonding orbital. These orbitals are directed toward the center of the ring. The remaining p orbitals of CH2 form two degenerate orbitals that have pi character. We use these molecular orbitals to explain the conjugation effect. Now let's back to our case. Cyclopropyl methyl carbocation can exist in two conformations. The first one is bisected conformation in which empty p orbital of carbocation center is arranged parallel to the plane of the cyclopropene. As a result, the carbocation center is stabilized because of interaction between MTP orbital and the P orbital of the ring. The second conformation is called perpendicular, in which MTP orbital is perpendicular to the plane of the ring. When two orbitals are orthogonal, the interaction cannot occur. Because of this stabilizing effect, cyclopropyl methyl carbocation prefers to adopt the bisected conformation. Calculated bond length support this conjugation effect. Choosing bond length in propane as a reference, two carbon-carbon bonds in cyclopropane have elongated, while a third has shortened. We can show this by an unusual resonance structure. The localization of pi electrons is a usual phenomenon, but the beauty of cyclopropane's chemistry is that electrons of sigma bonds can delocalize and we regard it as sigma delocalization. 
double bond can conjugate to another double bond and make a more stable molecule. So let's attach a double bond to cyclopropene and explore how they can interact. In this case, like previous example, there is two conformation with different stability. The first conformation is called synclinial, in which dihedral angle of two hydrogen is 65 degree. As you see, there is no effective interaction between pure orbital of the double bond and Walsh orbital of cyclopropene. The second conformation is called antiperiplanar, in which two hydrogens has 180 dihedral angle. In this conformation, one of the p orbital of the double bond and cyclopropene have maximum interaction. So antiperiplanar conformation is more stable than synclinial. If conformation on analysis is an interesting topic to you, check this video. Hysterene in energy in cyclobutene with 90 degree bond angle is 26.5 kilocalories per mole. Based on strain theory, we expect a larger strain energy's value from cyclopropane because of a smaller bond angle. What is strain energy essentially is the same as that of cyclobutene, so there must be a stabilizing factor to rationalize this small difference in energy. The most peculiar properties of cyclopropane is sigma the localization. Before turning into the discussion, it is useful to clarify the different types of the localization. Taking into account that electrons can delocalize in various ways, there are three modes of delocalization. Rebound delocalization that exists in large rings, surface delocalization in small rings, and volume delocalization in cage compounds. As you see, electrons in cyclopropene can distribute on the surface of the ring, but how is it possible? Let's take a look at Walsh diagram of cyclopropene. In this diagram, we deal with two types of orbitals. Radially orbitals directed toward the center of the ring and tangentially oriented p orbitals. Radially orbitals always follow the Huckel's rule, while tangentially orbitals form a Mobius system, so occupied by 4n electrons. In this regard, we can describe cyclopropane as non classical 2 electron free centers and 4 electron free centers compound. In this way, Huckel or Mobius aromatic subshells are formed. The radially orbitals without any nodes are aromatic. Tangentially orbitals are also aromatic with one node. Depending on the size of the ring, character of these orbitals is changed. In a three-membered ring, radially orbitals have a strong head-to-head -head interaction, so make a molecular orbital with sigma character. In a four-membered ring, because of larger bond angle, the overlap of radially orbitals decreases. Similarly, in a 5-membered ring, this overlap is less than a 4-membered ring. If we continue to increase in size of the ring, radially orbitals change their character. In a large ring, because of side-to-side -side interaction instead of head-to-head -head interaction, radially orbitals have pi character. In other words, with increasing size of the ring, density of the electrons from surface is shifted to the peripheral. This type of interaction is called pi-type rebound delocalization. According to the literature, significant effects resulting from surface delocalization can only be expected from cyclopropene. Due to its topology, cyclopropene possesses sigma delocalization over the surface of the ring, and this is a stabilizing factor.